Hi guys, hope you're all well. If you're new to Siege Studios, we're a premium miniature painting service with over 30 artists. Here at Siege we offer four painting levels, ranging from our bronze, premium gaming quality, up to our platinum competition standard. For your free quote today, follow the link in the description of this video. Repent for tomorrow you die. Uh, Dark Angels, awesome showcase we have for you today, guys. Two great dreadnoughts, or a walker and a dreadnought, and then also we have a repulsor. Uh, painted in the livery of the Sons of Caliban, otherwise known as the Dark Angels. A really, really cool, great commission with three brilliant models to check out. These have been completed by Dave, one of the artists here at Siege. Uh, I know he had a great time working on these. So let's jump in and have a look at them. Let's start with the uh, Redemptor. Again, a really, really iconic Dreadnought, I think, from the uh, Primaris range. It's, uh, it's gonna really last the test of time and I cannot wait to see any additions we get to weapons and or other uh, sort of variants of it in the future. Um, so Dave's done a great job of really implementing that very iconic uh, sort of Dark Angels color scheme across this miniature. Uh, with a little bit of weathering on certain areas like for example the claw and some areas of the carapace uh, just to match um, got obviously a couple of transfers just across on the kneecaps love the uh, white frag launcher sort of warheads there I think that really picks out and stands out lovely all the lenses and everything painted on the uh, on the front of the sarcophagus. So we've got mortis written across the scroll, plus obviously those white missiles just written, uh, sorry, not written, just painted on the uh, on the launcher on the back as well. If we turn the miniature around, you've got obviously the Dark Angels uh, symbol on the chapter shoulder pad, uh, and you've also got the uh, Mechanicus cog all painted on the rear of the model as well. All the metal work done in a really lovely dark gun metal kind of color, uh, but then we've got obviously a bit of pitted and scratching sort of across there, and also on some of the armored areas, like for example, on the leg here where things would scrape on the shoulder guards and things. Nice discoloration of these two pipes as well. It's like a, got like a bluish tinge to it, which I think really works and shows a bit of heat sort of damage to that sort of piping. Uh, and then we have this massive plasma cannon that he's uh, that he's wielding with a lovely soft glow just on there. So that's the uh, first model of the three, the uh, the awesome Redemptor Dreadnought. Let's jump across and have a look at the Invicta just to look at the other Walker. Uh, again, a really, really cool model uh, with that uh, pilot inside as well. Uh, armed with the flamer, as you can see, and the heavy bolter just on his uh, waist, just mag block there you've got a couple of purity seals just written on there a couple of transfers obviously the chapter icon plus obviously number three uh, we've got this claw as well again with all that weathering and everything done on it again moving around a really clean finish and the same consistency from miniature to miniature uh, just to give a very very concentric feel across the force uh, i do really love the uh, sort of bluish sort of uh, color on the uh, tanks of promethium there uh, i think it's a really really awesome awesome little detail on the uh, on the weapon uh, and i love the red casings on the uh, on the weapons across this commission uh, just really touching back to that um, sort of the original colorway of the dark angels all the way back to second edition which i do really like so that's just the Invicta then let's pull forward the uh, the mighty Repulsor uh, the third model in this showcase uh, a great tank to carry all of your Primaris intercessors and other infantry into battle plus it's packing loads of guns more guns so many guns that the Orcs are jealous of it um, but it's got loads and loads of different weapons obviously the Laz Cannons the Laz Talon you've got obviously the uh, the Stubber uh, the Gatling Gun um, and all the Frag Launchers just it's absolutely covered but Dave's done a really lovely job of every little lens light and everything on the tank fully painted fully highlighted multiple stages point of light source catch lights the lot uh, so a really really lovely execution across this force again you've got the weathering on the uh, areas of armor paneling across the miniature uh, and i do really love the uh, the red casings it's just something that just really nods back to that second edition as i mentioned uh, but again an overall extremely clean finish on the miniature uh, just with all those little details just to really bring the miniature to life uh, and that's the um that's the awesome awesome set of miniatures from this showcase guys these guys are off now to go and search for the fallen whether they find them or not we don't know but i do hope that you like this commission
So thanks for watching the video guys, I hope that you have enjoyed it. While you're here on YouTube, help us out by subscribing to the Siege channel. We upload at least three videos a week, so make sure you hit that bell icon to be notified when a new video is live. To see more, go follow us on our other social media where you can keep up to date with what we get up to and interact with us. If you're looking to learn from us, we offer online tuition on Patreon and physical classes nationally in the UK. Finally, to get your free quote today, click the link in the description of this video. From all the team here at Siege and myself, a massive thank you for watching the video and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.